All right, what would you rather watch for 10 minutes? This footage that's rich, creamy, colory, very cinematic, looks like something you'd see in the movies, or this footage, it's very flat, bland, and just very long. Well, I got good news. If you picked this LUT right here, this is a LUT that I made myself inside of DaVinci Resolve. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to go about making your own LUTs and understanding what they're used for and how they're used. LUTs are just gonna save you hours in post, and whether you're a beginner or just a seasoned professional, LUTs will let you move faster without losing control. Now let's take this party back to the office. And don't worry, this isn't one of those click this button and magic happens tutorials. This goes deep. LUT stands for lookup table, and you can use them in DaVinci Resolve. Basically what they do is they remap one color to another color. If that sounds too techy, here's a simple version. A LUT is like a color grade shortcut. It takes your flat footage and gives it a redefined look, whether it be modern, urban, softer, punchy, whatever. Now there are two types of LUTs that we're gonna deal with inside of DaVinci Resolve. The first one is a technical LUT. A technical LUT is for converting raw or log footage into Rec. 709. And DaVinci Resolve is nice because DaVinci Resolve includes a bunch of built-in LUTs made for converting all different types of log from different types of cameras or raw from different types of cameras into Rec. 709 in just one click. It's, it's awesome, I use it all the time. Creative LUTs on the other hand are LUTs that are used to shape and style the, the mood and the feel of your footage. And that's what we're focusing on today. And just to be clear, a LUT is supposed to be the final color grade. It's like your seasoning in your footage. You can use it, but you still gotta cook. Sometimes a LUT will get you 90% of the way there, and sometimes it just builds the foundation for you to build off of. Either way, it's a starting point, not the final product. Most times. Sometimes you can get a one and done color grade, but that's rare, it's not all the time, don't bank on it. So now that you know what a LUT is, let's talk about why they're such a game changer in your workflow. Let's say you're editing a travel vlog, let's say you're importing footage from a weekend vlog, trip with your friends, maybe a short doc, the last thing you wanna do is import that into Resolve and spend just 30 minutes tweaking the saturation and contrast to see if the footage even has any potential. It, you don't wanna do that. Instead, you drop on a LUT, and in this case, since I'm using aerial drone footage of some vineyards here, I'm gonna use uh, the LUT Pine from my natural collection and drop it on here and I have nice, vibrant, lush green colors here. It's an instant vibe check, color that actually pops. Now you know this footage has potential, but it is worth noting that you should be adding your creative looks from your creative LUTs on after you've corrected your white balance and exposure earlier. I did that with a curves node right here, so now I'm gonna take this back and the colors are just a little more balanced here now. What's really nice about DaVinci Resolve is after you've applied your LUT in the node containing the LUT, you can come to this icon right here and under key output, you can drag this down under the gain, and that changes the intensity of the LUT, respectively. So if you don't like it all the way up, you can drag it down just a little bit and make more adjustments from there. Being able to just do this so fast is the beauty in what LUTs offer you. They give you instant consistency, they give you fast client previews, and they give you the ability to add a look without having to build your note tree every single time. But hold up, if you have a lot of footage, adding a LUT onto your timeline is not the move. Let me show you how to actually use them right in Resolve. This footage here is some stock footage that I'm working with. It's just of the road and some cars passing. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna balance my footage. I wanna get the white balance and the exposure correct here. And as you can see in my waveform, this one's almost there. There's just a little bit of red showing. So in my curves, I'm gonna take red, and just pull it down a little bit and I have the most white that I'm gonna be able to get here. Uh, when you see most white here, that means it's balanced. I have a whole video about this on my channel about balancing your footage, very important step in color grading. But now that I have this done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a second node here, and from my desert pack of LUTs, I'm gonna take my LUT called Barren and drag it on right here. It's from the desert pack for very barren landscapes, and there's a lot of that here. And you can see we are working with a lot of yellows, and I really like where this footage is to begin with, just as it is, but it could use a little bit more work. Maybe we could lower the intensity of our LUT here just a little bit. I'm gonna stick just even just down 5% right there. I, I want to keep most of it, but maybe not as intense as it was. And then I'm thinking what I want to do is I want to use this color slice tool. And there's a lot of yellow in this image, as you can see. And I'm going to up the saturation on that. That looks really cool. There's also a lot of blue up here. And I think I kind of want to desaturate that a little bit. So I'm going to come to the, my blue color slice, bring this down. I really want the focus of the desert to be the main thing here. So I'm going to, I want the yellow to be the dominant color. So you can see I applied my LUT here and then kind of built my look off of it. And the point is, is not to make the LUT the look, but to build the look off of the LUT, if that makes sense. And you can go and you can stack LUTs too. Uh, if there was another one you wanted to add and then kind of balance it and change the intensity as you go, you can entirely do that. That's your choice. Uh, but I have this clip here. I built my look coming from the LUT and I think it looks pretty good here. I don't think this looks half bad, but as you can see, 
This is what it looks like with the LUT node turned off. I'm gonna turn it on here. The DNA of the look is in the LUT and the LUTs just take a lot less time to build your look if you have LUTs that you know you like. But this is where I see a lot of beginners get tripped up is a lot of times people will think, oh, I've applied the LUT, it's one and done. And yeah, well, sometimes that is the case. Uh, if you just leave it like that, you're missing a lot of spice. You know, you could be making your image just look a lot better, add a lot more characteristic to it. But if you choose to not add more of a look, add more nodes, you could be foregoing what could be an awesome image. Now let's talk about something super powerful. It's building your own LUTs. And yeah, I got something for you if you're not ready to make your own from scratch yet. And if you've made it this far in the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Now let's get back to the video. Once you've graded a shot and you love the look, don't let it go to waste. Make it so that you can reuse that look over again. In Resolve, you can export that look as a cube LUT in just seconds. It's awesome. Here's what you do to do that. Let's say I have this look here. I want to save it for again for use in the future. I'm going to come to my clip right here down in my, uh, my timeline of clips, right click on it, come down to generate LUT, and I'm gonna press 65 point cube. 65 point cube just encompasses a LUT with the most amount of data possible. It's gonna ask me where I wanna save it. I'm gonna put this one on my desktop and I'm gonna call this one Desert Road. That's all I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna save this. Now, if you wanna import it in Resolve for you to use later, what you do is you come to your settings down here, go to color management, open LUT folder. Here's your LUT folder. Here is where all of the LUTs that you use are. You can make any of your own folders. You can use any of the ones here. Now, if I wanted to drag that one in here that I just made, I would take my desertroad.cube file. You always want to have the cube one and drag it into this folder. However, I uh, personally don't want to do that. I don't see myself using this particular LUT for anything. What I have going, I think was good for me so far in my folders. You should definitely experiment with this. If you have looks that you enjoy using and you find yourself making them more than once, you should definitely experiment with making LUTs. It's super powerful. Now, if you're thinking that's cool, but I'm not ready to build my own library yet, I got you. Every LUT that you're seeing in this video comes from my own collection of LUTs available for purchase. You got the desert collection, the urban collection, the natural collection, farm collection, and the aerial collection. And yeah, there's a free collection in the store linked with the others if you want to try that out. To get there, all you got to do is go to the website by clicking on one of the products down below, finding the free collection, and boom, it's there, free of charge, take it. These collections of LUTs are LUTs that I use in my own work all the time. In fact, I use these ones the most often. These LUTs that I have, that I that I offer, are the LUTs that I use most often in my own work all the time. They're field tested in real shoots and tuned inside of DaVinci Resolve. I love them, I'm happy with how they turned out. So whether you're crafting your own or leaning on a pack like mine, the goal is the same. Build speed without sacrificing style. Color grading can feel like a black hole, especially when you're starting with flat footage and don't know where to start. Let's fix that to give you a launch pad, not a crutch, but a compass. You still have to shape the final look, add your contrast, add your saturation, add your gradients, but a great LUT gets you in the right ballpark and fast. You can check out that free pack I was telling you about either on my website linked down below in the description or on the same store as the products linked down below in this video are on. Use them, tweak them, learn from them, or start making your own. Either way, you're leveling up. Drop a comment if you've ever found a LUT that was a one-click wonder and changed your whole workflow. And if this helped you out, don't forget to hit the like button. It helps the algorithm and it tells it you've got great taste. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.